YouTube, welcome! Today I'm gonna be playing one of my favorite decks and that is gonna be Ninjas. Now I did tweak some things in the deck, we play a second copy of Green Ninja, a playset of the Twilight Ninja Jogion, we also play one copy of the Ninjutsu Art of Mirage Transformation, two copies of Super Poly, and in the extra deck, two Super Poly targets with also Gigantic Sprite, and a few small changes here and there. Now why did I make all of those changes? Let's discuss that first of all. We're playing a second copy of Green Ninja because we wanna go into more plays and it gives us an additional extender to Special Summon. Same thing with Ninja Jogion, actually this card allows you to Special Summon it pretty much for free if you have an Ninjutsu art in your hand and we play like nine in the deck so you have a pretty good chance of actually having both of them in your opening hand if you end up opening the jogging of course on top of that i'm playing super poly now because that is a pretty good disruption going second to just break boards also going first you can fusion off your mazen into a copy of dragus tapelia by using an additional monster also you can go into garuda by fusion summoning two monsters and it's just a nice interruption to disrupt your opponent's plays of course and now as of the mirage transformation here i don't know if it's gonna be that good but i'm gonna try it out for sure what it does is it allows you to tribute one ninja monster and if you do special summon a monster from your opponent's graveyard to disrupt your opponent's play since snake eyes are a deck that uses the graveyard quite a bit so i'm guessing that could be a nice interruption for them you know negating the poplar negating the flake bark or negating the oak it could be kind of nice of course it's just an experiment i don't know if it's gonna work that well but i guess we're about to find out other than that there are not really that many changes since my last video that i made about ninjas and the guide which you can check out in the channel of course now we're playing three copies of hanzo again three copies mitsu three copies to body one copy kageru one geo and also we're playing reinforcements of the army port of prosperity here for the extra consistency boost of course and we're playing one copy of the hidden village of ninjutsu arts which could come up it could be a nice way to just recycle resources and keep on going in the grind game so that's kind of cool as well i guess pretty much it for the deck dude i don't have much to say if you want to learn how to play the deck i have a guide in the channel so you can check that out if you want to but now let's get into the gameplay all right let's head to the field the ninjutsu arts hidden village of the ninjutsu arts let's activate also the reinforcements of the army here and i'm gonna be searching out a copy of the hanzu which is the best monster in the deck of course and now let's go normal summon the hanzu i'm gonna be activating the effect of it also gonna use the effect of the green ninja to spread someone into the field afterwards and i'm gonna go for uh let's see i could go for duplication and i think that this is the best option so let's just do that also green ninja's effect is not gonna resolve by the way i forgot about that uh, i'm just gonna set three cards and pass turn actually okay sure you might think that this is not really that great but keep in mind i have duplication into a fusion play also i have the notebook also super poly for an additional interruption activating the divine tempo and uh yeah okay i'm not gonna do anything about that yet all right setting to the field the flame bark dragon summoning the poplar activate the effect search out a snake eye spare or trap okay searching out a copy of the original simple spoils and uh now actually no i should wait a little bit because i want to go for the duplication but i feel like it's gonna be better to just wait for a little while here uh, actually no 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 i'm gonna go for the duplication immediately now sure i'm gonna activate now duplication tribute the hanzu pay summon from my deck a copy of tubari another copy of tubari and also a copy of green ninja boom tubari and number one also to body number two in face down and the third one is gonna be a second copy of the green ninja i am glad that i play a second copy of it because i just hard drew it and uh, yeah, it's actually a good idea to just play a second copy. And now I'm going to be using the effect of the Tubari immediately afterwards, activating the Divine Tempo. That is fine. It doesn't matter, dude. Changing the effect of the Hidden Village of the Spellcasters, uh, of, the, of the Ninjutsu Arts, returning the Hanzo to the hand. And now changing the effect of the Tubari afterwards. He has the ability to change something else. What does he have? Oh, changing Code by to negate that. Well, that's fine. I mean, it could be worse. It's okay. It's actually not that big of a deal. Now I'm going to go and I'm not going to activate Green Ninja, by the way, from the hand because I need it. I'm going to go for the Tobari. And also I'm going to change the effect of the Art Notebook immediately to just pay someone back to the field, the Hanzu. Which is a little bit of a niche play, but it is kind of good to do. We are cooking, dude. I'm going to set to the field, the Hanzu, from the graveyard and also from the deck. I'm going to set a copy of a Ninjutsu Art and I'm going to go for the Dancing Leaves here. I could have went for Mirage Transformation, but uh, yeah, that's fine. I cannot use it anyways. And now let's go into Yagoromaru by using the Tubari, uh, which is, you know, face up. Also using the Green Ninja on the field. And uh, I'm going to be resolving even more plays now. Okay, dude, we are cooking. We are cooking, dude. We are making things happen here. All right, Hidden Ninja gets uh, negated. Hidden Village gets negated now. He's going to be able to pay some on the Flame Bird Dragon. And when he does, I'm going to be chaining one activating effect of the Yagoromaru. Banishing monster from the graveyard. I'm going to be banishing a copy of the Green Ninja. Also, I'm going to be using the effect of Green Ninja Chaining 2. Actually, no, oh no. Oh, I messed up. I shouldn't have banished it. Well, Nibiru, dude, sure. Yeah, I shouldn't have banished the Green Ninja because that negates the effect of the Green Ninja. But anyways, he's still going to go for the Nibiru and just wipe my whole board. Okay, uh, man, I was so close. But he's not going to deal with the Tobari and Hanzo, which is something, I guess. Um, Yeah, now Yagoromaru doesn't resolve. He gets to use the effect of the Poplar. Sets to the field a monster, but he's gonna go for probably Poplar again. Oh, actually, no, Flame but it doesn't matter because no matter what he goes into, he's gonna use original Simple Spell, Special Summon Ash, 
Also, uh, I have the Super Pulley afterwards to just dissect his board even more. So uh, that's kind of good. Now drawing two cards off of the effect of the Talon. And uh, yeah, it really depends on what he top decks. The Nibiru is just so nasty here. The Nibiru kind of saved him here a little bit. Now going for the original Sinful Spoils. Tributing the, uh, you know, Flame Bark as expected to special summon from his deck a monster. Special summoning the Ash. Now he's gonna be able to use the Ash, search out a copy of Poplar if he wants to, and then special summon it to the field because that's gonna give him an extra body. And then he's gonna go for the, uh, you know, Ash effect, tribute, special summon Oak. And before that, I'm gonna change the effect of Super Poly and just negate him, or at least that's the plan, you know. Search out a copy of Birch actually. Well, it is a pretty special summon, anyways. Special summoning the Birch now, I'm gonna change the effect of the Super Poly, get rid of both of his monsters. Summon my, um, what was it, the Garuda to the field, and that will just kill his whole turn because now he doesn't have any more extenders and he has nothing else he can do. Oh my god, I actually wiped out his whole field. Also, let's change the effect of the Green Ninja just because Cliff pays down that Nibiru so he cannot slap anything on the field and he has no place. He used already the original Simple Spoils, Poplar, Ash, everything, dude. Okay, that is how you beat Snake Eyes with Ninjas. Woo, that's so nice. Oh, I'm getting so hyped right now. Okay, let's go now flip the Hanzo, activate the effect. We are making please happen okay searching out a copy of the baku now which i can space summon for free and he's gonna and i'm also gonna return the green ninja now i'm gonna go for the baku and he just scooped i beat the best deck in master do with ninjas dude all right let's go normal summon my hanzo first of all and i'm gonna be activating the effect to search out a copy of a ninjutsu art spell card or trap card Oh yeah, changing the effect of Gamma, never mind. Okay, that is a big problem. Well, let's just go Maxi in that case. I am gonna be at least drawing a card or two. Actually, a card only. Yeah, that's probably gonna be super nasty to do it. I could have went for Ash and negate the Gamma to be able to still resolve the effect of it and then extend from there. But yeah, I just really don't see it happening that well. So uh, yeah, actually I top deck the best card in my entire deck so I can just use the effect of it right now after going for Jogen. Okay, I'm going to be special summoning now the Jogen by revealing the uh, notebook on in my hand. And uh, yeah, that's going to be beautiful. Also, I get to special summon the Mitsu on the field and that top deck just saved my ass completely, dude. Now I can go for the notebook immediately. Special summon from my uh, graveyard the Hanzo on the field as well. Also from my deck I can set on the field a, uh, you know, Ninjutsu art. Which is gonna be really nice. I'm gonna be sending to the field a copy of the duplication because it's gonna be the most useful one here. And now I'm gonna be going for Saizu because that's my only best option, I guess. I'm gonna use two of them. I could go for something else, but it's not gonna be as good. Set on the field another ninjutsu art, and I'm gonna go for a copy of the dancing leaves. I could go for iron 2 as well, by the way, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna pass turn with this. Now I know that this isn't ideal, but it is pretty nice again. Because I get to use the effect of Dancing Leaves, also Duplication, also Ash Blossom. I do lose my, uh, you know, Maze and Summon. But it's not that big of a deal again. I do have more plays in mind. Best Summoning now the Unicorn to the field. And uh, he's probably playing Snake Eyes. So I don't want to use anything to it right now. I'm going to wait a little bit. Adding one Kashtura spell. And I'm going to be not negating that, of course. I'm not going to use my Ash Blossom for this. Search out a copy of the board as expected completely. Yup, getting rid of the uh, Unicorn. Best Summon the Diabella Star. Now I am going to be negating it with Ash Blossom here. Because it's a really good choke point to negate for now. Oh, I cannot go for the Ash because it's a set on the field. I'm so stupid. Yeah. Okay, activating now the Kashira board to space summon back again the monster. Yep, using it now. Sure. Yep, space summoning back the unicorn. And now he's gonna go for the original simple spoils afterwards. Yep, activating the original Sifu spoils. Get rid of the board. Actually, getting rid of the Diabella star. Let's go for the Ash. This is just the best way to use Ash Blossom. Now, using the effect of the Unicorn to get rid of something from my extra deck. That is perfectly fine, dude. I don't care. Banishing a copy of your Goromaru. That means I only have one copy of your Goromaru left in my extra deck. Also, keep in mind he has not used his normal summon. Activating one for one now. Sure. He's gonna spell summon the Ash now. Activate the effect. And I'm not gonna go for any interruptions yet. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I have a strategy here. Searching out a copy of the Poplar. Now he's gonna be able to summon the Poplar and activate the effect which allows him to search out a copy of the Divine Temple. Um, but the Divine Temple is not gonna be able to do that much right now and you're gonna see why that is so good to have these two back row here. Searching out a copy of it and now let's go and activate the effect of my Dancing Leaves. I'm gonna be tributing the size on the field to spell summon from my deck a copy of Geo. And Geo is gonna allow me to flip face down both of his monsters. Which means he's not gonna be able to use any of the effects of Ash. Also the effect of Poplar to just reset it on the field again. So that's gonna be so nice. So far so good. And now after the effect of it resolves immediately. I'm gonna go activate the Duplication. Yes. And I'm gonna be tributing the Geo. The reason why I do this now is because Divine Tempo is gonna allow him to spell summon a monster on the field if I don't use it now. So I'm gonna go for Tobari face up. Also gonna go for G. Let's see, I gotta go up to 8 levels. So I'm gonna also go for G. Um, let's see, I could go for Baku, by the way. It could be nice. Yeah, it's kind of anti-synergistic a little bit, but I'm gonna go for Baku. And now let's also go for a copy of the Kageru in attack mode, all of them. And I'm gonna be able to use the Baku effect. 
return to the hand a copy of uh, let's see copy of the notebook to have it again as a follow-up chaining to kagero bring back to the field a monster face down not gonna use to body yet i'm gonna use the to body you know afterwards and he just cooked the game oh my god dude i am destroying snake eyes with ninjas dude wow <laughs> yeah boy 